Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way that I have found to get black eyes for all of your weapons in Rainbow Six Siege. This strategy is without a doubt going to take a lot of grinding, but in doing this method, I alone have managed to get black eyes on two separate weapons in two weeks. Uh, and that is only with around an hour of gameplay a day, uh, meaning that you should be able to get a black eye skin roughly every seven hours or so. Obviously, it's going to be given or taken, but uh, that's that's a rough estimate. Uh, so if you want to make sure that you find out how to do the strategy, then make sure you keep on watching. However, before we start the video, I would really appreciate it if you were to hit the like button on this video, if you have found it helpful, as it really helps push my content out to a larger audience, and at the same time shows me what sort of videos that you guys are enjoying and shows me what I should be making more of. Uh, and on the same note, if you find the video helpful and you want to see more videos from me, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that bell button next to it to be notified whenever I make new content. Uh, I have a lot of you who have come from my Rainbow Six Siege content videos. Uh, however, I also make a lot of how-to content on other games such as uh, League of Legends, Red Dead Online, Minecraft, Hogwarts Legacy and more to come in the future. So if that appeals to you, then make sure you check out some of my other videos after watching this one as I'm sure you'll find something on there that you will find useful in whatever game that you're playing at the moment. So. In this method, I'm going to be abusing a method on how to get Rainbow Six Siege packs very quickly. Uh, and the more open, uh, sorry, the more that you open, the more likely you are to get the Black Eye skin. So I've been testing and researching the fastest ways to get the Rainbow Six Siege packs, and I have come up with two ways. Now, the first one that I've found basically to get as many packs as possible is by playing and abusing the ridiculous amount of rewards that you get that game modes give you. At the moment. Uh, the Rainbow is Magic update is out with the new Teddy Conflict game mode. Uh, it's introducing a more catch the flag aspect to the typical game of Siege. Uh, but because of this, you can end games quickly, basically as quick as five minutes if you really try. Uh, and in doing so, you'll not only get a huge amount of renown each game, uh, but you're also going to get a free Siege pack spin, uh, which means uh, a 2% increase every win or a um not a two percent increase every win sorry you're going to get even more than that and then a two percent every loss uh, and then or possibly a free uh siege pack uh basically meaning that in one hour of playing this game mode you can get either around 30 or 40 percent on your pack spins or i've worked out for it to be an average of around two packs an hour uh, meaning that the longer and the more frequently you play the game the more packs you'll get and then with the packs come the black eye skins uh, so if you want to basically abuse this strategy what i'd recommend is going onto the map uh, going onto the game mode sorry and then once you start running across the whole top floor of the map jumping down and then instead of shooting uh, the bears you knife them it basically gets it done twice as quickly and you can end a round within 30 seconds then obviously three rounds there you'll end in around a minute and a half and then with all the loading it will probably take around five four four minutes and then give or take another minute just in case you keep dying for that round um so that's what i do and i definitely abuse this method if you can uh because Obviously, this game mode is going to go soon. Obviously, other game modes will come out in the future, but I know that this time of year is the best time of year to get Black Eye skins and to abuse uh, Renown farming. So definitely get, uh, do this while you still can. I know there's only about eight or nine days left from when this video was recorded. Uh, so just basically make sure you do this as soon as possible so you can abuse as much as possible. And anyway... The second way that I found that you can get packs quickly is by using and abusing the battle pass. Uh, with the battle pass, you're able to level up and play the game uh, basically as normal. But then in doing this, you will unlock tokens. Uh, and from there, you are able to redeem these tokens for different rewards. Uh, so you can either choose skins or you can choose weapon skins, but you are also able to go out of your way and choose packs. Um, and if you want to earn even more packs, uh, you can use some of your rainbow six points and buy the premium pass and get even more that way this method is very good if you want to play the game frequently and you don't mind spending money on the game obviously you don't have to but it does help even more uh, and it also happens in the background so you do not have to go out of your way for this method you just play the game as normal and the packs will rack up while you do so 
But anyway, guys, that is the two strategies that I have found. I definitely have been abusing this uh, over the last 20 days that uh, the game mode has been out. Uh, and as long as a bat passes out, I tend to abuse that as well. And getting packs as quickly as possible, you're not only going to get a load of skins, you're not going to you're basically going to get anything that you want but that comes with black ice as well so i've got a few black ice skins uh, but recently i've been abusing the the packs as normal and i've been able to get three or four black ice skins like i said two of them was in two weeks but in about a month i've been able to get three and then i've gotten one recently as well so definitely do the tips that i've given you in this video uh, as it's definitely working for me so i know that it'll work for you as well Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop waffling on and I'm going to end the video here. But if you guys did enjoy it, then please click the like button down below as it really helps push my videos out and it helps me see that you guys have enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos from me, then make sure to subscribe and click that bell button next to it. But that has been me, guys, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.